February 4, 2018 The Compelling Majesty of His Power The Love of Christ Compels Us 2 Corinthians 5:14. Paul said that he was overpowered, subdued, and held as in a vice by the love of Christ. Very few of us really know what it means to be held in the grip of the love of God. We tend so often to be controlled simply by our own experience. The one thing that gripped and held Paul, to the exclusion of everything else, was the love of God. The love of Christ compels us. When you hear that coming from the life of a man or woman it is unmistakable. You will know that the Spirit of God is completely unhindered in that person's life. When we are born again by the Spirit of God, our testimony is based solely on what God has done for us, and rightly so. But that will change and be removed forever once you receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, Acts 1 8. Only then will you begin to realize what Jesus meant when he went on to say, You shall be witnesses to me. Not witnesses to what Jesus can do that is basic and understood but witnesses to me. We will accept everything that happens as if it were happening to him whether we receive praise or blame, persecution or reward. No one is able to take this stand for Jesus Christ who is not totally compelled by the majesty of his power. It is the only thing that matters, and yet it is strange that it's the last thing we as Christian workers realize. Paul said that he was gripped by the love of God and that is why he acted as he did. People could perceive him as mad or sane he did not care. There was only one thing he lived for to persuade people of the coming judgment of God and to tell them of the love of Christ. This total surrender to the love of Christ is the only thing that will bear fruit in your life. And it will always leave the mark of God's holiness and his power, never drawing attention to your personal holiness.